Hi everyone, this is Bakari Shivana with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, it's been a while since I posted a YouTube video. You know, I've been very busy. But I wanted to come back and share with you an overview of the recently released beta version of Better Touch Tool 2.851. Um, it's a brand new design and it has some handy new features. So whether you're an existing Better Touch Tool user or you're curious about what this finger just application is all about, I invite you to stick around and check it out. Okay, so if you are a an existing user of Better Touch Tool, you know that the previous version, uh, or some, for some people, the um, existing version looks just like this here. And uh, this is how it's laid out. And in my course on Better Touch Tool, uh, this is the uh, version that my um, that I use for my course. Uh, so now, though, we see um, a newer version here um, that's a, a little bit more modern and cleaner. Um, and um, I'm not sure if it's. I think it's. I think it's easier to navigate in many respects. Um, and it has some additional features that I have been looking forward to. Uh, first off, in the overall kind of layout of it, it's, it's laid out more in columns, um, and it was that's kind of the way it was in the previous version. But now you can kind of view your um, your triggers and your um, uh, uh, you know your finger gestures. You can view them in list uh, view here, or you can uh, view them in column view. So. You know, it depends on how you want to uh, do that. I want to. I haven't figured out which way I like best right now. I'm, I'm still kind of going toward the list view because it's similar to uh, the old version there, and, and uh, so I'm kind of used to seeing the um, the names of the trigger, and then I'll be able to see um, the little notes that I have about what the trigger uh, does here on this side here, and so that's kind of the setup that I prefer right now. Uh, but again, I'm going to play around with it some more um, to see to see that. Um, you can also, um, in, in this new version, you can also group, uh, uh, you know, sets of triggers and actions together. So if I wanted to put all my uh, uh, actions here, or triggers in um, that's related to iTunes, I can put them in a folder here, and that's pretty, you know, useful for uh, management purposes. And all you have to do is kind of click right here on the um, plus button here and create um, a uh, new uh, uh, group here. And say, you know, you wanted to do something for like clipboard triggers um, and put them there and put save here and then that'll create that and then all you have to do is drag the uh, the, uh, the the triggers that it, for that folder drag them into that folder and you know that's how it does it i'm not going to do it right now but you know, that's a that's a feature that um you can definitely do so that's really great um, another thing about this too i like um new, new feature is that you can now um uh, in, uh, enable and disable uh, selected triggers. You couldn't do that in the past. At least I can't remember you being able to do that. And so that's great too, particularly if you're trying to troubleshoot uh, a particular tri a trigger or action or what have you, or you just need to have it turned off uh, for a while. Um, you can do that and, and rather than having to delete the entire um, trigger in order to, to, to uh, make it not um, uh, to, to, you know, to, to not to have the trigger there. So that really works really great. Um, another good thing about, uh, the new version here too, is you can, um, you can, you can do some, you can search and I thought, where was that search at here? Let me go back. Now here's the search right here. So you click on the column view and then you click here and you can search, um, for particular, um, triggers if you particularly if you have you know them in notes and things of that sort um you can you know you can have that and do a search so if i want to go to a clipboard so that, that's one of my clipboard triggers there and again if i wanted to just slide it into this one i can if i wanted to i can do that okay so that's that's a real uh, nice feature as well um let's see also did let me point out as well, which I should have pointed out at the beginning, 
um, you can actually go up to the uh, menu bar and if you have better touch tool in the menu bar you can go here and click um, on the old configuration so you actually can still see your old configuration here the layout here if you want to uh, ever go back and see that now I'm not sure if that's going to remain there but um, I, I think it will so that's great if you want to if you just kind of want to just stick with this you can do that um, and again it's not radically different um, these two versions and, and I'm not even feeling like I really need to redo my course because of that um, because pretty much how you put together uh, triggers triggers and gestures it's pretty much the same um, kind of method so what you can do to create a trigger you just kind of go down and you click the plus button to create a new trigger and then you figure out like what trigger you want you can go into the templates here and you should know about that if you are familiar with better touch tool and if you're not um, you can again take my course or you can look at some of the videos or articles that I've done on my website um, to get that so you can do that there um, and you can also go in and do the advanced kind of triggers and say you know do you want it to trigger everywhere um, or do you want to trigger only when it's over the, the dock or when the, you know when the mouse is or the mouse is over the dock or over the menu bar or when it's not over the dock or the menu bar you can do that as well so you have that option and let's see what else do you have um, and you know so it's pretty much the same kind of way and, and what you can do too is you can um, say you want to do test I'm going to just call this test and say you wanted to uh, show the uh, the notes here as a part of the trigger so let's see let's do this so we're going to do is um just a test here I'm going to click this one here right and I'm going to undo this and I'm going to save it now as you see right now this the, the name here is the uh, gesture that you use the gesture is assigned but if you click on show notes instead of description um, and save it right it will show um, the the name or, or, what, or the notes that you put here. The only thing about when you do that, though, you don't get to see the actual trigger uh, gesture that you're using, the finger gestures that you're using. So I'm not quite liking that. I, I prefer to have um, that shown here. Uh, I prefer to have the finger gesture shown and then just have... Um, the uh, the notes sort on this side um, another thing that I don't really need in this configuration though I don't need the word notes per se so that's a little bit I don't know it looks a little bit redundant for me but uh, but anyway you can do that um, another little uh, feature that they've added to it too as well is that you can instead of using in your notes you can add um, say a um, emoji here so I don't know if you wanted to put this here as an emoji and then you know put phone or whatever right um, so you can see that then the emojis are kind of small and you can you, I don't think you can enlarge this user interface in any kind of way but again that's another feature um, that you can use if you want um, another one is you can also uh, separate out this column here if you want um, you know, I'm not sure why you might need that, but um, I haven't played around with it enough, so that might be something useful for that as well. Okay, and you can also go up to the uh, menu bar and you can click on, I believe, um, let's see, I thought you can, oh, you can do a new window here. So you can have actually have two windows going at the same time. Um, and that, that might be useful say that if you're kind of working in the all apps uh, you know portion of it and then you wanted to switch to a particular um, a particular application or something like that so you can have both of them open at the same time so you know it really depends on that I haven't really thought about a use case for that but uh, it's great to be there because I'm pretty sure it's useful in some particular um, way so those are some of the of the features that kind of stand out for me that are new 
in this beta version. Um, and I'm going to keep playing around with a uh, better touch tool to see what else kind of pops up. Uh, for the most part, everything else that's in the old version or previous version um, is, is still there. Uh, there are some changes in the um, trackpad, set, trackpad setting, but I don't think they're really that significant. Uh, it's the one called the palm and thumb recognition. Um, you can read that for yourself. Um, I really wouldn't go in and change around these settings in here unless you know what you're doing. Um, I've, I've done a few changes myself over time, but again, that's because I've you know, used the Better Touch tool for several years now. But I don't notice anything significantly changed in the settings that will, um, uh, you know, kind of change how you use it per se. Um, there are also the uh, regular uh, kind of standard settings for the touch bar. If, you, if you're using a uh, better touch tool on a, um, a MacBook Pro, which has touch bar. Um, and you can also have the normal mouse. You can have the, the drawing and mouse gestures are still there. Um, the better, better touch tool remote um, that you can install on your um, iOS device. Um, those, those things are still there as well. So nothing really has changed in that particular way. So this is, uh, this is a good layout. And again, this is only the beta version, uh, I think 2.851. So we, you know, it looks like there's gonna be more to come um, in, in, the, um, in the months or years to come. So really great to see uh, this layout. Um, if you have any questions or um, anything that you've noticed that um, I didn't talk about, please leave them in the uh, comment section. Appreciate it.